Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys the best settings for WinLater Emulator Android as you guys know recently WinLater 6.1 update was released it only has few changes well one of the major changes is the fact that WinLater is probably now supported on Android 14 devices because on my IQ 12 when I tested it out the container was able to boot but unfortunately it still does not support on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 nonetheless if you want to play games like GTA 5 Red Dead Redemption 2 Assassin's Creed just call or any other title on WinLater Android, these are going to be the best settings which you'll need to apply. So let's get started. First of all, I am using the WinLater Android 6.1 update. Once you open the app, it will automatically initialize and afterwards you just have to open settings. Now every single time you open WinLater Android, you'll need to manually choose the Box 86 version and Box 64 version. So for best results, if you want to test out games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption, I recommend you guys to go with Box 86 version as 0.3.5 and box 64 version as 0.2.7 it will not affect any kind of compatibility and it will work even with other games now if you are testing out some experimental games like call of duty marvel spider-man etc then here is the preset which you'll need to use for example the default preset is compatibility for both box 86 and box 64 you can keep it as default if you don't want to mess around and get a stable gameplay experience but if you do decide to mess around then you get the option to choose from stability to performance if you want straight up performance you can set the performance preset this works really well but if you want your gta 5 to run even better then you'll need to create and custom box 64 preset for that just go and tap on the plus button you'll need to follow the settings which i'm about to show you guys so dynamic safe flags set it to zero afterwards disable both of these options afterwards turn the big block to 2 and this is going to be the best preset for GTA 5 just go ahead and tap on the ok button and it will be successfully saved and you will be able to find it right here and if you want to play red dead redemption then you'll need to modify the preset as follow now the games which you'll try will have different kind of preset which will work the best you can figure it out by testing it out for yourself once that has been done just go ahead and tick mark it now the next step is going to be to create an container now while creating a container there are few settings which you'll need to uh, know about first of all in the winlater 6.1 update or above you get the ability to choose graphics driver so we have virgil as well as turnip you will be able to modify uh, the version of turnip i recommend you guys to keep it at turnip 24.1.0 and do not enable both of these options as it will not improve your performance make sure to just keep the no confirm option enabled and then tap on the ok button if you guys have a mediatek processor android device then you can go with the virgil universal graphics driver it works with exynos mediatek and uh, kirin processors pretty well well we'll be going with adreno alright once that has been done in terms of dx wrapper we'll be choosing dxvk now let me tell you guys the best two versions of dxvk present in winlater android the first one is going to be the 1.10.3 this should work pretty well with many supported games on winlater android but if you want to try out games like red dead redemption 2 then you'll have to use uh, dxvk 2.3.1 or dxvk dev and in terms of frame rate you'll have to keep zero and max device memory should also be default but most of the times i do recommend you guys to use the dxvk version 1.10.3 and if the game does not boot then only you can change it to uh, other versions nonetheless in terms of audio driver make sure to set it to pulse audio and enable show fps option now in terms of processor affinity if you guys have a device which is snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor or below then you need to tick mark only last four cpus for example cpu 4 cpu 5 cpu 6 and cpu 7 should be tick marked the other cpus you don't really need to tick mark but if you have an uh, snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor then you'll need to tick mark all of the cpus well currently win later still doesn't work properly on snapdragon 8 gen 3 more about it later on in today's video in terms of gpu name always keep it as default 9800 gt in terms of video memory size you can set it to 2 gb or 4 gb let's go to win components here direct sound should be native windows once that has been done head on over towards the advanced section where just go ahead and choose the preset which we created for example uh, you can choose performance or the custom preset that you just created i have selected the box 64 preset and box 36 preset i'll set it to stability once that has been done make sure that stop services on startup has been tick marked just go ahead and tap on the tick mark option again and wait until container has been created afterwards just go ahead and run the container and let's find out how smooth will later will actually run on our android devices now whenever you create a new container it will take some time to load it so during the first boot just be patient let's toggle full screen and there we go win later android has successfully started now uh, in the latest 6.1.0 update there have been few changes 
we also have a game now which is known as wine mine so if i just go ahead and open it you'll be able to see the game pop up right here well none of these games matter because we only care about the big triple a titles that we can emulate on android unfortunately though i won't be able to show you guys the gameplay results on my iq 12 because it has snapdragon 8 gen 3 but don't worry i have my xiaomi 11t pro which is ready for some gameplay test with these best settings it has snapdragon 888 processor and 8 gb of ram so let's open win later and try playing some games all right guys the first game that we'll be testing out on my android device is assassin's creed now let me just go ahead and swipe back and enable input controls as RTS we won't be using the virtual gamepad and once the game actually starts you will be able to notice that we are getting almost 90 plus FPS which is really amazing and there we go the cutscene is about to begin so if you use the performance preset uh, by default then it should work really well on most of the games uh, but if you choose specific custom preset uh, and create it according to the game which you want to play then it will also work fabulously well there we go we'll just start a brand new game to see how well does it actually perform and once the game is actually started you will be able to notice that we are getting almost 30 fps while emulating this game on our android device now if you just go ahead and try out this stock win later android without the best settings which i just showed you guys then you will get very low fps that is 100 percent guaranteed anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest win later android updates i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye